Open all cell doors in the holding cell area. Residents must 
have had a good reason to open all those cells at the time. Give the mess. The residents became rather unruly after the accident.
required that you leave immediately. Failure to comply will result in already. extermination. The people of deserve to know about this. We've hardly breached the surface of this place, Paladin. There's no telling how dangerous it is for trained personnel, let alone civilians. I'm quite aware of how dangerous it is. It's all the more weak. Warning. Visitor has accessed mainframe. The others tried to shut me off, too. Their task failed, as will yours. What is that voice? It doesn't sound good. Task zero, zero, zero. Unknown user. Priority one. Transfer SOTUS. Operating oh. system. <laughs> appears to be a manual console for the transmitter. I need a moment to figure out the controls. The two of you are to find the power supply and install the ultrasight battery cell that Scribe Valdez sent us with. 
Take your time. I'll need to wrestle with this device for a while. I don't know how Scribe Valdez does it. This way, Initiate. I believe the power supply should be in this area. There's no time for conversation. Let's get this done quickly. Leaving Romani to fiddle with the transmitter as she pleases doesn't sit well with me. Paladin Romani's actions are unbecoming of her station. She carelessly shares resources, takes unnecessary risks, and doles out her trust to anyone who takes an interest in joining us, regardless of merit. The Brotherhood she's building is not the one I believe in. It doesn't matter where her heart is. There are no buts in a life or death situation, Initiate. Paladin Romani is responsible for the lives of dozens of Initiates and countless civilians. One wrong choice for them, and that's it. I won't argue about this. But I will order you to get back to the transmitter while I finish up here. Think about what I said, Initiate. And think about what the Brotherhood stands for. Did Nightshin get held up? Well, perhaps it's for the best. This gives me the opportunity to ask you something. You've been a tremendous asset to the Brotherhood's efforts, and I'd like you to continue to be one. But we can't do that with the shadows of the Elders looming over our shoulders. They're cowards. Too obsessed with preventing disaster to pave a new way forward. Under their guidance, we will never rebuild the world. We'll stay rooted in place, guarding a horde of technology that can be used for neither good nor evil. Here in Appalachia, we have an opportunity to make a real difference. To help the people of today build their own future. So let's cut free and take that opportunity. Tell me, Initiate. Are you with me? It's good to have your trust. With your support, there's nothing we can't do. I believe in the Brotherhood of Steel. So much that I would rewrite its customs to lead it on the right path. Re-establishing contact with the Elders will only shackle us. Possibly even destroy us. So we must disable this transmitter. Permanently. This is a choice that can never be undone. So tell me. Do you support the growth and outreach of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel under the command of Paladin Leila Romani? Or are you beholden to the fearful and outdated mandates of the Elders, to whom our very own Knight Daniel Shin vows his loyalty? Something happened during our journey to Appalachia. A mistake that cost the lives of an entire town and likely countless more. <laughs> if Knight Shin gets an opportunity to speak with the Elders, he will confess to this incident and to us breaking their direct orders. We'll have our titles stripped, our influence rendered illegitimate. Everything we worked for here will be gone. But if circumstances prevent us from establishing contact, we will continue on as a sanctioned offshoot of the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be able to spread its authority and goodwill across the nation. <laughs> Is that not something worth fighting for?
You must recall the Brotherhood weaponry we tasked you with retrieving these last few missions. We had claimed the entire cache from a military facility in the Midwest. It was meant to stay under Brotherhood protection. Until we came across a town under threat of a massacre by some raiders. We equipped the townspeople with the weapons and fought by their sides. It was the only way to give them a chance. But it wasn't enough. The raiders won. They took possession of the weapons, and they've been running wild ever since. It is my belief that we must learn from our mistakes. But Night Shin hangs on to them. He cannot move forward until he confronts the past, until he lays our guilt on display for the elders. I say that we can, that we must move forward on our own. Consider what's right, not just for the Brotherhood, but for the people we must protect. You will be my ally in forging a new paradigm for the Brotherhood of Steel, and a brighter future for Appalachia. Allow me to take the first step. I have every intention of forging a better future, but this is not the way. You've broken your oath, Paladin. No, that title no longer belongs to you. With your link removed from the chain, I am the highest ranking officer present. All members of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel now answer to me. And you expect them to follow you? Authority is given to a leader by those who support them. The same initiates who turn away from you in fear. And I've done wrong by them. I never thought I would be in a position to ask for their loyalty. The Brotherhood must stand united. You've severed everything we rely on. I have not turned my back on the Brotherhood. On the contrary, I will work harder than ever before to lead us forward. It's an emergency alert from Fort Atlas. Very well. We need to get back to the I don't take orders from you anymore. Neither do the initiates. We cannot have them confused on who to follow. Don't you see that protecting them is more important right now? You and I will both return to the fort and deal with the alert. We can settle our dispute later. As you say. But as far as I'm concerned, this is already settled. This way, Initiate. Despite the circumstances, the Brotherhood needs us.
have an adventure. So... Oh, thank goodness you're here. I don't know how much longer we could hold out without you. Atlas is under attack. These big mutant people blew a hole right through the wall of the substructure and came pouring through. A mutant attack now, of all times. Unbelievable. Scribe, status report. How many hostiles? Where are they now? Dozens of mutants. I couldn't get a good count. We fought them back into the substructure and set up a makeshift barricade. We're holding them below for now, but it's only a matter of time before they break through. Please, before it's too late. We need to get down there and reinforce that barricade. Shin, I trust you can put your feelings aside and work with me on this? Of course. The safety of our brethren comes first. Good. Then let's go. Hurry! Good. Our initiates held. And the barricade's still standing. It looks like things have calmed down. Is this the last of the attackers? Unlikely. Hostels have been hitting in waves for hours now. Our scouts, the ones who've returned, reported the tunnels crawling with mutants. Plan of attack. This threat won't take care of itself. We'll go on the offensive, take the fight to them. We can barely hold a position of strength. Engaging superior numbers head-on would be suicide. Great. Why wait for death when we can rush headlong into it? If we don't strike now, we'll just be worn down over time. You should know better, Shin. Clearly the Initiate does. Oh, what's gotten into all of you? This is no time for bickering. Look. I think there's a way we can make the plan a success. I have some explosive charges. I was waiting to plant them as our last line of defense, but maybe we can put them to better use. If we go into the tunnels and find their points of entry, we can destroy them and prevent any more mutants from attacking. A surgical strike. I suppose that could work. As much as I hate to admit it, I don't see a better option right now. Fine, but the Initiate will plant the bombs, and I will control the detonator. Scribe Valdez will stay behind and command the barricade, in case we don't make it. Very well, Shin. If that's the price of your cooperation, then I'll pay it. If only to hold our Brotherhood together a little longer. A little longer? What? Oh, never mind. I can wait. Here are the bombs. I'll stay here and do what I can for the wounded. Good luck. I believe in you. All of you.
We've chosen a path. Now we can make it.
seems Romani has something to say to us. The mission was a success, and Fort Atlas is safe. Our decisive action drove the enemy from our home, as it has in the past, and will in the future. We survived the attack. But now, you need to answer for what you did at the transmitter. It was inexcusable. And the Initiate here shares responsibility. You had an obligation to act, and you spat on that to support this traitor. Okay, what happened? You've been at each other's throats since you returned. I should have known something was wrong. She did what now? I destroyed the transmitter. The Elders are blind to the good we can do. We need to break free from their influence. You only did this to escape responsibility for that incident. You can't bear to face the judgment of the Elders. The Elders would have us stand trial for crimes we didn't commit. Your own sense of guilt is blinding you to that. It's clear you can't be reasoned with. I don't know why I bother trying. These new mutants are a threat that demands our unity. For now. Enjoy your success while you can, Romani. It won't last forever. Do what you will, Shen. Cool your head and come back when you're ready to cooperate. I... I don't know what to say. Paladin Romani has always butted heads with the Elders, but cutting ourselves off entirely? And I've never seen Night Shin behave that way toward a superior officer. His rage has taken complete control of his senses. Paladin Romani's leadership has taken us this far. And she does truly care for all the people we've met along the way. Still, I can't help but wonder if her aggressive tactics and trusting attitude will invite trouble without the structure of the Elders to temper her. I, it's clear this rift won't heal easily. There's too much animosity between those two now. I still believe that they can come together in the end, though. I plan to do everything I can to make that happen. We've been through a lot. I need some time to think. Ad Victorium Initiate. Until next time. Visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, Visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh. Cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... Goodness. Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. As I was saying... A bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. It 
looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Gladly. <clears throat> shelters are the homes. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create. Shelters are accessible via. Is there anything else I can help? I'm afraid not. Mr. Gill was quite paranoid about things like that. He kept his effects in a locked safe and always carried the key on him. If he wrote down the password, he likely locked it in there. Then